What's going on guys? White Fox 1225 here. I just got back from a few weeks of training with the National Guard. Unfortunately, I did miss E3, but I'm trying to make some videos and catch up on all the cool stuff that was announced that I couldn't cover then. And I figured there would be no better place to start than ESO's brand new DLCs that were just announced. With Morrowind just being released, I really didn't think we were going to get anything huge announced at E3 for ESO. But instead of just giving us details on one new DLC, we got two. And in this video, I'm going to cover all the information on those DLCs for you guys and tell you all the information you might have missed. The first DLC we're going to talk about is called Horns of the Reach. It's a dungeon pack similar to the Argonian dungeon pack that we got last year. It's going to add two brand new dungeons. This time they are both in Skyrim. And those two dungeons are Bloodroot Forge and Falk Reach Hold. The dungeon pack is also going to add some cool stuff like new items, monster masks, and new achievements for you to get. Along with the DLC, we're also going to get a pretty large free update to the game that's going to add a new Battlegrounds map called Arcane University and a new game mode called Chaos Ball. It is worth mentioning though that you'll have to own the Morrowind expansion to play that new Battlegrounds content. On top of those new maps and game modes, we're also going to get new homes, furnishings, cosmetics, crown crates, and new holiday events. Personally, I'm really excited to see those new holiday events and what we're going to get because the past ones have been crazy fun and I always enjoy playing through them. This dungeon pack is going to be released in August, so make sure you keep an eye out for that in the Crown Store. Now the second DLC we have is the Clockwork City, which we already know a little bit about because they show some footage off at other game conferences in the past. It is a new PvE zone that adds over 10 hours of new content. The Clockwork City itself is an underground Dwemer-like city that Solta still built. And in the DLC, you're actually going to get to explore and play through that zone. I'm sure we'll have some delves and world bosses and things you'd expect in a PvE zone, as well as a brand new story, of course. I think this zone is going to be really awesome. It's different from anything we've seen in the game just because it is underground, so it should be really fun to explore and play through all that content. That is pretty much it for the video and it for all the details we got on these new DLCs. I hope you guys are as excited for the new content as I am, and if you are, make sure you hit the subscribe button because I'll be covering a lot more ESO news in the future, stuff on the Morrowind expansion, and these new DLCs. Also, I'm going to be working through the announcements from E3, covering some new open world games, RPGs, and stuff like that. So again, if you're interested in that, make sure you hit the subscribe button. If you guys liked the video, make sure you hit the like button. Thank you as always for watching, I really appreciate it, and I'll see you in the next one.